The full-size adventure touring category of motorcycles is turning into yet another nuclear arms race, just like Liter Class Superbikes. Every other year, manufacturers launch an updated version that's lighter, more powerful, and even more loaded with technology and features. And the new Tiger 1200, this is the latest such weapon in Triumph's arsenal. The bike is not only lighter, more powerful, but is also more capable now is what Triumph tells us. But more importantly, the bike is priced lower now. So what's new? Let's take a look. One of the biggest changes for 2018 is to the name of the motorcycle. Triumph has dropped the Explorer suffix and the new bike is simply called the Tiger 1200. For now, Triumph has only launched the XCX version in India, which is a part of the off-road focused XC family and hence it comes equipped with spoke wheels. This is a midlife update only though, which means styling has not changed and just like last year's bike, this is a handsome looking Tiger. The LED daytime running lamps are new though and look distinctive while the sharp lines across the bodywork make for a lean and highly appealing stance. The single-sided swing arm adds to the bike's charm while the optional panniers our test bike was equipped with help in completing the adventure touring look. Cosmetic changes aside, Triumph says it has also updated the 1200cc triple cylinder engine powering this motorcycle. The outputs are higher by 2 PS thanks to a lighter flywheel and crankshaft. But more importantly, Triumph says it has beefed up the bottom end performance, which it says will help when riding this motorcycle off-road. Triumph has also nailed the Tiger 1200's fueling, which makes for extremely precise throttle responses at all times. This is a boon on a motorcycle as large and as powerful as the Tiger, as it gives you an exact idea of how much input is needed from your wrist at all times. What's more, the power delivery is progressive, which means that despite being a 141 PS motorcycle, the Tiger 1200 does not feel intimidating when it comes to opening the throttle wide. Getting used to the bike's performance at slow speeds is thus easy, as is cruising on open highways at well above 100 km per hour. The engine is mated to the same 6-speed gearbox as before, and while gear shifts are smooth, the transmission calls for some effort when changing gears, especially at slow speeds. The XCX also comes equipped with an arrow exhaust which makes the triple cylinder sound sweeter, especially at high revs. As part of the 2018 update, the Tiger 1200 also gets this remote key fob that you can simply place in your pocket. But as far as the updates to the electronics are concerned, this is just the tip of the iceberg. As part of the update, the XCX gets a new off-road pro mode which turns ABS and traction control off and also adjusts the semi-active suspension to let you have more fun when riding off tarmac. I did try the mode and I have to admit, the new Tiger 1200 makes sliding a full-size adventure tourer look extremely easy. In fact, the electronics have your back all the time. The Tiger 1200 also features a 6-axis IMU or inertial measurement unit that is constantly studying the bike's position, lean angle and a lot more while also working in conjunction with the traction control system to ensure the rear wheel has maximum traction at all times. That isn't all on the Rider 8's front though, as the Tiger 1200 comes equipped with technology like bi-directional quick shifter, cornering ABS, cornering traction control, adaptive cornering lights and hill hold as well. And that is a lot of technology. Heated grips and heated seats have been carried over from last year's XCX, which should be a huge boon in cold weather. The Tiger 1200 also gets the same adjustable full-color TFT display as the new Tiger 800 that is a breeze to use and offers a range of information. While we are at it, the Tiger 1200 electrically adjustable windscreen deserves a mention too as it can be moved up or down on the go with utmost ease. One of the biggest highlights on the Tiger 1200 has to be its semi-active suspension that was introduced last year. Well, the suspension has not changed for 2018 and it helps a lot in tailoring the riding experience depending on the conditions that you're riding in. The semi-active suspension is in fact the star of the Tiger 1200 show. The suspension makes for a lot of confidence whether riding off-road or on it. 
Sensors monitor the surface conditions every 10 milliseconds and adjust rebound and compression damping accordingly, though you also have the option of adjusting the suspension manually through the on-screen menu. The 1200XCX comes equipped with dual sport Medzilla tires that offer lots of grip on and off road both and sliding the bike or riding fast on dirt is confidence inspiring. In fact, I was surprised at how easily I was able to slide the Tiger 1200 despite its large dimensions and the heft. The Big Tiger is also very confident going faster on corners on tarmac and is an impressive handler though you do need to muscle it around. But once you get used to its size, riding the Big Tiger enthusiastically is easy and in the right hands, the 1200 can be immensely rewarding. It also feels very comfortable and riding distances is second nature to this ADV. That is also courtesy the fact that the ergonomics have improved and the handlebar is now closer to the rider by 20mm while the seats are as comfortable as ever. The icing on the cake here is the fact that despite all the updates, the 2018 Tiger 1200 costs almost 2 lakh rupees lesser than last year's motorcycle. It looks good, is more capable and certainly more comfortable now. But the Tiger 1200 is still a very large and a very heavy motorcycle which means it is not a machine for inexperienced riders. That limits its appeal somewhat, but then nuclear weapons are not for everyone, are they? Mm.